Hello everyone, Steve Burns here, and I want to share with you how to place animated textures onto 3D objects. I don't think very many people realize you can actually um, you know, do that inside of uh, Photoshop CS6. Now what we have in front of us right now is a video file. I just went into Bridge, opened it up, double clicked on a video file that I custom created inside of Photoshop. It's just a standard cloud texture animated from one position to another. That's actually, let me actually share with you exactly how it was done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the command N for a new file. There's a new file. I will create a brand new layer and, and give it clouds. Currently, my, um, black, back, my background and foreground color is black and white, so we're gonna to go to render clouds. It'll render with that particular texture. Now, I can go ahead and, and add a little bit of an extra detail, render difference clouds, and hit it again to get uh, a little bit of a text, different texture. Now, let's go ahead and zoom this down, pull it out a little bit, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit the Command T, free transform it, bring it out a little bit, as well as kinda stretch it, make it a little bit larger. I'm gonna put, put it right in the top uh, right-hand corner, and hit Enter. Now I'm going to animate this from one end to the uh, one end to the next. So let's go ahead and double click on a layer so that we can see everything that's going on. I need to create a video timeline here. So I'm going to target this here. There's my video timeline. And the goal here is to animate its position. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit more so, because when I cascade down the menu here, I want to be able to see the position option. Playhead is here at zero. Let's go ahead and tap the position. It's there. Now, let's go ahead and take the playhead and bring it at the very end. So, if it helps, and I find it helps sometimes, sometimes is to go ahead and, and target the show transform controls here on the options panel. Now I can see exactly how large the texture is in relationship to the actual document size. Go ahead and bring this on over and release it. There it is. So now if I start to play with the oops play with the playhead a little bit let's go ahead and just reattach it right down here in the bottom and you can see it's being animated from one position to the next once you have this the way that you want it or like it go to the drop arrow or actually the the drop menu right up here in the top right hand corner and render out this video so target the render um, I'm going to keep it a standard H.24 format, uh, MP4 format. Call it what you will. Save it to your hard drive, and all you have to do is double click on the on the video file once it's completed rendering, and it's going to open it up in Photoshop, and it's going to look like this. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to take off my transform tools for now, and if we go scroll back and forth. We can see this is the video actually being played on its own timeline and we have the video right right here um, and of course we can you know input sound but we're gonna just worry about animating the textures okay so this is the fun part let's go over here and open up our layers because 3D commands in Photoshop or 3D capabilities in Photoshop will actually treat this video as if it's any standard digital texture okay now I'm going to duplicate this so I don't lose it and we're going to tell Photoshop to actually create a 3d object from a preset so mesh from preset I have the sphere targeted I'm going to I'm going to keep it uh, selected once it's uh, targeted hit create and there it is look Here's our planet. Cool stuff. Now watch. So I pull that across. In fact, let's go ahead and turn off the background. And let's take a look at the sphere by itself. Zoom in a little closer. And look at that. We have clouds moving across our sphere, which can represent clouds moving across a planet. So you can actually place any video, video you want onto your timeline and then allow the 3D commands in Photoshop to utilize it as a texture. 
Now let's have some fun and take this a step further. Let's go down to my layers here. You see I have a, an additional texture here. I'm going to target it. Let's go ahead and turn off the visual aspects on the 3D object. With that one targeted, we're going to go over and give that a sphere. Uh, take the texture and wrap it around a, a 3D sphere. Now, let's go back and target both of these layers, both the planet and the clouds. Let's turn on the clouds, target it, 3D, merge the 3D layers, so now they're all in the same um, layer scene or, or 3D scene. Okay, so if we go over to the 3D panel, we have one and two. Let's find out which one is which. So if I turn this one off, that's my planet. So let's go ahead to keep it organized. We're going to title this one planet. Let's title the other one clouds. All right. And let's go to the clouds, target it, and go to my resize command. And let's see if we can make the clouds a little bit bigger. Let's go right over here and make sure the clouds are targeted. And there, just slightly bigger than the planet. Now, I want to be able to see through those clouds as um, while it's animating you know, across the planet. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this video texture as what's what we call an opacity map. Clouds over here, target the surface, come right down here to the bottom. Look at the opacity here. Go ahead, go target the folder, load the texture. I call the final render moving water, but moving clouds, you know, whatever you want, call it what you will. But in this case, we're going to use it as look. There we go. So it's actually applied the that video as an opacity map. So if I tap over to the end, we can see the the clouds actually moving across the planet we can go to these frames which is done caching and utilize moving the texture on across so if I want a stronger looking clouds then what you're gonna do is you're gonna edit the texture with an adjustment layer so go over here to the opacity map once again and edit that texture go to my layers give it a adjustment layer and we'll do curves and if you take a look at the curves here Hardly any highlights. I'm going to bring this on over, give a stronger highlight, give it a stronger black. Probably bring a little curve here and another little point up there so it's a real strong black. Now, Command S to save it. We don't need it anymore. Go back to the planet and there it is. We can see a stronger cloud on the planet and I accidentally moved this on over so I'm going to move it on back. There we are. And we move this around and there we have we have the clouds animating across the planet scroll through just fine okay I hope you enjoyed this neat little tutorial here and utilizing video files as animated textures on your 3d objects next tutorial we're going to talk about animating various other types of textures on your 3D objects. This is Stephen Burns. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to sharing the next video with you.